Hi everybody, this must be again. Now I teach you the procedure to power on the machine. So first, before you power on the machine, you must be sure there are nothing stay on the surface of the table. Remove everything, especially for the liquid, as the ink, cleaning liquid, or water, or some drink. So remove, remove everything from the table. And then, after you release the the lock, then you push by your hand, push the carriage from left to right to check if the carriage can move freely. To be sure, there are nothing to block. And if you want to remove, you must remove to put your finger on this position and this position. Because at the bottom middle, there are some uh, control pass like this be sure it's move freely then you can move the carriage at the middle by your hand then you take out the keep weight system and be sure there's nothing to block the carriage moving. So, so we just uh, give the power for the machine. Then we give the power power on the UV control box. So the UV lamp control box is work is power on, and the machine have power. Also, the wire axis is empty and then you go to check if the emergency button switch is pulled out must pull out to release be sure everything is okay and the power is safety the uv control box everything is control is everything is connect then we go to push down the boot button to power on the machine so after the power on the machine, the machine will start to utilization. Some sounds are coming out because we not load ink to the ink tank. So remember must be teach you to close off the ink light sensor, then the light will be released. The sounds will also be released. Then the carriage start to first the carriage move to left, then the carriage move to front. Then we stop when it got detected by the front in the sensor. Then the carriage move a little bit to home position. And also, the bottom working light is on. And also, the, then, then we check the one queue. First is one queue or option. The one queue motor is start working. And then we open the A area and B area, C and D. So now the table got the bank queue. Then it's position up and down. When we press position up, the march position, the pin is moving up. When we press again, it's moved down automatically. See again. So it's working well. on and off it's working so this is the procedure to power on the machine okay after we power on the machine we must check if some uh, some spare parts is working well first we must check if the white and the varnish the white and the varnish the negative negative pressure meter at the, is showing working well minus three is working well and 
the flush button is on, it's working well. And uh, the heating temperature controller is working well. Have the current, the current temperature sh showing parameter, uh, parameter here. And also the switch for the temperature controller. We need to check off, on, working well. And then we check The static elevator is working well. The working lights on. After we check the left side is working well, then we go to the right side to check. Okay, so then we check the spare parts at the right side of the carriage. When we pop on the machine, first we check the negative pressure meter for color ink. It's sure right now the current setting, the negative pressure is minus 2.3. That's normal. And do not change, check, do not push any buttons here. Keep as default. And then we push the negative pressure color. And the pump is working and the light is on, working well. And then we go to the downside. We check the, the right side static meter is working well, the light's on. So the right side, left side, all the pass function is working well. Okay, after we pop on the machine, then we find out the instant cable that come from the print, printer. Then we insert the instant cable to the computer port. Be sure it's good connection. And also, one more thing is, you must be sure your computer, the, the net card, the hard, hard configuration, the computer must giga, giga internet, but not other speed, giga internet cable and also the giga internet connection uh, internet card from your computer configuration then we open the control software from the computer and then we can see the connection is the icon is become green before it's red. And if it becomes green, that means the computer is connect where with the printer. Then we can do the some setting and do other operation from the control software. The margin is for make the carriage go back to X position. If you choose, for example, right now, the carriage at the middle of the table, you choose X mark, choose the margin, then the carriage will back to home position to zero. So must be sure the table without anything to block the carriage moving. And the left is to move the carriage to left, move the print head to left. The, the maximum, minimal, maximum left is home position. The move to right, is to move the carriage to right position. And ahead is to move the, the carriage to the back side, to left, to right, to carriage to move out. To move the, move the carriage to back side, to front side. X reset, that means the carriage Go back to home position. Here we can see it's zero. And the wire set is also make the table go back to Y position to zero. Here we change the number, Y position. The, the printer starts to move to the front. So you press left, right, ahead, back, X reset or Y reset 
all must be sure, also the margin, all must be sure the table is clean without anything to block the carriage or the rail moving, especially for some liquids as the drink or ink. Otherwise, the carriage will, will make the liquid down to damage the printer. So must be sure X, Y, the motion is pretty. So after we check all the spare parts, it's working well, and also we install the control software ready, the driver, everything is ready, and also the Ethernet cable is connected with the computer ready. The UV lamp, machine, computer, everything is powered on ready. So now we can start to do the motion test. First, we go to software, and we click backward, and we check if the rear go backward and automatic stop. Let the table, let the rear go to backwards and let it automatic stop. Okay, now the rear is automatic stop. That means the motion to backward is working well. Then we go to software and we click forward. And also let the machine go to front and automatic stop. Okay, now the rear is on automatic stop, so that means the machine forward motion is working well. Then we moved the carriage to right. It's automatic stop, it's working well. Then we click to left, it's working well. Then stop. Then we move out again. And we click X home from software. So the carriage goes to home position and stop. So the X axis is working well. Please remember before you do the movement of X, you need to take out the keep weight dish. Otherwise, it will damage the print board. Then we checked the up down motion. Then we go to software and we click move to move up. So we can see the carriage and the rear start to move up. The maximum head is 30 centimeter. Automatic stop. Then we click down from the software.
now it's automatic stop. So the up down motion is working well. Okay, then we check the head head detect sensor. First, we go to software. We press move up for safety. We must move up to before we do the detect option. Then we go to move backward from the software. We go to the detect position. And then we move out the carriage. And then we click head detect. We Okay, now I'll teach you how to do the detect option of the printed material. So first we put the material we want to print on the table. And for safety, we, not, we don't know the thickness of the material right now. So we go to the software, we go to Z axis and we click the axis move up. Then the table will start to move up. The, the, the carriage will start move up. After we think it's safety, then we can close. So right now we have two options to do the detect, head, head detect option. First one is this one, and then it's test the head. So first we try this one. The in situation is only control the detect magnet move up or down. And the test head is automatic detect. So let's do one by one. So we we'll first try this one. If we by this way, right now we cannot click. Remember, right now we must cannot just click right now. We must close first. Then we move the carriage out. We move by right. Then the catch move up, move out. Then we move the position to be sure the magnet position. The magnet position is on here. This, the magnet. To be sure the magnet position is on the top of the material. Safety position. After be sure the X and Y position are correct, then we go back to Z axis again. And we click in situation. Then the magnet come down. And then up detect move up. After that, we choose test head complete. So then we go to choose, click off, and we click X reset to make the carriage back to home position. We click, and then the carriage back to home position. So this is the first way to do the detect. Okay, then we try to another way. We go to the axis and the test the head. Before we do the test the head, we must be sure the material position, X position and Y position. Then we must go to see the rear, the, the rear, the, the ruler here. For example, I put on here. And right now, it's on 
100, 200, 300, 400, and six, 300, about 300. And also we can, from here, we can see here is 50, 60, for example, we put to 600 position, this position, 6, 60, 100 millimeter on the X. And on the Y, we can see from here. And the Y, right now, about 300. Then we put number, X, Y number on this software. We put X, 60, 100, and here is about 200. And you can put any position you want. Then after we set, we just click test the head. Then the car start to move. Okay, let's see another one method to do the material test. Also first, we put the material on the table, the same position. Any position you want. And then we go to Z axis. And first we also need to move up to be safety. We move up the table. Move up the rear to be sure it's not scratch the print head. We go to safe head. After we think it's safety, then we put the XY position of the material here. So first we need to check the position. On the top of the rear, here have a number, we can see the position on the X position. For example, we put on 60 position, 60, 100 millimeter. And the Y axis, we can get the number from the ruler mark on the table. For example, we put on 300 millimeter. So here is the test position. After we be sure the material we put on the correct position, then we go to then we go to the software and we click head test. We put a number here first, 600 for the X and 200 for, for 300 for Y axis. Then we click the test head. Then the cartridge move out automatically and the magnet coming down. And after detect, they will move back to home position. So all are automatically. So these two methods to do the head detect. After that, we just choose, click test the head complete. And then we can do the next step. And also we click off. So these two methods to do the head test for the material. So anyway, you must move up the move up the rear for safety to be sure the carriage will not scratch the meter to get the print head damage. So this is very important. We must do all the abrasion by the correct step to prevent the print damage or print head scratch. So this is must be very, very careful and fully understand the procedure. So after we check all the motion is working well, then we just do a test print. Before we do test print, please do not put ink or install the print head because we just do the motion test to check all the functions working well.
before we install the print head and field ink. Okay, when we go to the software, first the one from the top is file. So files for open the file we want to print. So first we, for example, we go to choose the file we want to print. Desktop, for example, we want to print the test file. Then also we put two test file on the USB flash for the customer testing. First one is for test the color of fit for white and varnish. And also another one is for test file with picture. So for example, we print we load this for print. We double click. So the file go to the left. And we when we right click, double click, we go to the file. We right click, we can go to print task setting, detect, print ready and cancel task, move, lots of options. For example, we can, we can delete it. For example, we go to task setting. So we go to this interface. Here we can set the copy for X, for Y axis, and the space for each file. And also here we can choose, we can choose square print that certain position we want to print but not the full image like this and also we can set as we want the size like this and the ink setting here we can choose a setting like color white varnish much ink for example we want to print that with two ink limit for white white ink copies but double white ink density or double varnish so normally we choose one by each color white and varnish layer. And here's adjust little adjust the ink. For example, we just want to test the color, we just want to test the motion. We can remove to all. But if normally you if you want print normal print job, you just open for 100 percent And what we can adjust the wetness for one copies. For example, we want only half what ink density we just reduce to 50% or 60% and also varnish so for white and varnish you can adjust the ink limit to get different results but for KCMY we strongly recommend you to do not change the setting here because if you change the ink limit for KCMY the print out picture the color will be not original so this is the ink setting and this ink static we can check this picture this size how many ink that consumed for each square meter so after print we can show the ink limit for each kcm1 <coughs> We can set print count, the price. Then we can here we can come out the total total price cost for each copies. So this is the task property setting for the file. And here also we can click print and delete or clear all the list or open the folder we want to print. Mm -hmm. this. And also we can go to file, also we can go to open PR file to print. But if you go to PR file, you will not, the, not show the icon. After we click print, then the printer must start printing. So we can see there are the carriage start printing and the rear start moving and also the UV lamp for left, right and the varnish all are working
after test print, then we click cancel from the software. After we cancel the job, then the carriage back to your home position. So the print motion is working well. After you be sure the print motion is working well and the printing option is working well, then we can start to do the next uh, operation. Thank you. OK, now let me show you how the, the Focus Atlas encroaching system working and, and the scratch print head system. So when we go to the carriage, we can see here at the left and right have an anti-collision system of the carriage to protect the print head or carriage, carriage got damaged by the material on the table or any material bending. Inside have an electronic system sensor inside at both sides. So for example, I made a mistake. I'm very, I must be stupid. I forget, I forgot to remove the, the hammer on the table. I just put it on here. And then I, I'm stupid right now. I print, start printing from the computer. I forget to do the head detect. Then I go to print, start print. It's very dangerous, but I just show you when the danger is coming, when we do it. We start print. Then we hit the hammer and stop the carriage. We not not damage the print. But when we go to software, we got one alarm that anti-collision system is up, and also we can hear some beep beep sound from the printer. Then. We need to click on confirm option and click release. And right now we have two options. First, we must uh, remove the stupid hammer from the tuber, uh, from, from the table. And then here, we also, if really the gap is too big, too small, we can z rising a little bit to move up a little bit. Or, the, or fine, we move the position by 0 0.1 millimeter to up or down, we move up or down the table. After we check the gap, the safety not damage the carriage anymore, we can choose resume printing or cancel print. For example, right now I, can st well, I want to continue print, so I click resume print. Then the printer starts to print. So this is the anti-collision system working procedure.